Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to a new video. So in this one, then we're going to be talking about branding and how to turn your Shopify store into a long-term and profitable brand and also why you should be doing this too. Just to kind of illustrate that point, as we can see in Google Trends, the search term of dropshipping worldwide since 2004 is increasing in popularity. And what that means for us then is that our competition is increasing. One of the really good things about dropshipping is that we can sell globally, but then on the flip side of that, then our competition is also global as well. If we just take a quick look at this map, we're no longer just competing against the Western countries or other people in the UK or where people like us live. We're also competing then against people in Russia, in Morocco, in Australia, in the Netherlands, in Cyprus, all around the world that everybody is essentially competing for that same particular customer. So in this video then, we're gonna be looking at two really well-known brand names that have essentially built multi-million pound businesses around products that we ourselves can actually go and source off AliExpress today if we really wanted to, but we're gonna be going a bit deeper than that and actually looking at the reasons why they've become so successful and how we can replicate those same things. Now, before we jump into the first one then, I just wanna quickly mention, as always, I am giving away a free one-to-one -one call with me in this video. If you want to enter that Draw, then all you have to do is simply like the video and leave a comment down below. And if you commented on yesterday's video, just make sure you stay tuned to the end of this one where the winner will be announced. And that being said, then guys, let's get straight into it. So when it comes to being successful at pretty much anything in life, then essentially you have to do it better than everyone else. So I want to show you these two brands then just to kind of give you some inspiration if you get stuck or if you kind of forget or if you're not sure then what a good store looks like or what a good social media page looks like or what good content is, here's two really good brands then to source some inspiration inspiration from. So here's number one then, they're called Blendjet. You may have heard of them before. Um, and this is their product page. This is the one that essentially brings in all their money. It's their best selling product. And just to kind of illustrate the size of these guys, if we look at, um, this is similar web by the way, it's a free add on for Chrome, um, the kind of traffic they're getting. So they're consistently getting over 200,000 views um, a month. So they're gonna be bringing in some pretty decent um, revenue. And I just wanna scroll down quickly and just show you the product page essentially so you can see what um, a product page that brings in that volume of sales looks like. Um, so you can see they've got a ton of awesome information. They've got some great product reviews. In fact, I'm pretty sure this is just like the looks app. It looks very similar. Um, and just to kind of prove it to you, you can source pretty much an identical product from AliExpress. The only difference being is the fact that these guys have gone one step further and branded it. You can see they've got like their brand logo on the actual product blend jet there. Um, and here we are. So this is, if we just choose the purple one too, you can see that it's almost identical. Apart from a couple of little tweaks and changes have made them probably to improve the products from the initial feedback from customers, then it's pretty much the same product. The next thing I want to show you then is their Facebook page because their Facebook page is really impressive. As you can see there, there's Jen Selter, who's like one of the biggest um, women in fitness on Instagram. She's like one of the first people. She's got millions and millions of followers and she endorses them. Um, and the reason I want to show you this then is just because the pure, number one is the amount of content they're posting. They've always got fresh new content that they're posting. Like you can see that was 20 hours ago. This was May 13th. Uh, if we just scroll down, open up some more. May 12th. May 12th, May 11th. So you can see on average they're posting like nearly one if not two times a day. And the next thing I wanna show you as well is that if you look at pretty much every single comment on their posts, they're responding. And they're responding in not just some spammy way of buy your blend jet here, which you see a lot of pages do. They're responding like human beings and actually talking to their customers like they're their friends. So they're using emojis, they're using casual words, casual terms. Um, and it's just a great way of building that relationship with your customer, that trust. And the fact that they can see you're active as well um, means a lot. One quick thing to note here as well is that they cater for their customers in every single way. So all the sort of questions that they get answered from customers, they make sure they have some kind of content or value to give to their customers in response. Um, so for example, then you can see here that somebody's asked for some recipes. So they've got a specific page on their website for recipes. So it's just another reason for people to go onto their site. Essentially, they can go to their site and just get absolutely everything in one place. They can get the product, they can get recipes, they can probably get fitness workouts, um, links to different people to follow as well on Instagram just everything in one place and that's essentially what a successful brand will always do because then there's no reason or excuse to go anywhere else so that being covered then the next one i want to show you in fact the first thing i wanted to show you was um, before we move on to the next one was this ad because i literally went on their website for one second to find them for this video as an example and they showed me a retargeting ad straight away so come back and get 10 percent off your order so as you can see they're really efficient they're really retags people who uh, even just going on their home page, just any kind of page. 
um, and they're also responding to people's comments on here soon as well so can we get three with three colors all colors are back up on the website available for pre-order no black color it'll be back soon so they're responding to absolutely everybody who leaves a question on there and people looking at this ad seeing that the brand is active talking to its customers in a professional and useful way um, it's just going to speak volumes for the brand moving on to brand number two then and this is highsmileteeth.com um, you've probably already heard of them they're one of the biggest kind of like teeth whitening kits um, in the world and just to illustrate their size as well you can see they get 140,000 60,000 80 80,000 and this is the UK site too I'm sure they're probably getting even more in the US this is their product page and you can see it just looks really professional um, and there's kind of like a theme going for the store because it's like a teeth whitening thing which is obviously in the beauty niche um, and it's quite a clinical thing if you think of dentists it's quite a clinical and clean place their website represents that so they, the two products just match hand in hand um, and it just kind of like puts you at ease if that makes sense when you go into somebody's store you wouldn't look at a particular like button or the font they've used and think oh that looks a bit weird everything just looks in place it's a good layout um, and it looks professional just to kind of illustrate as well here's the, all the different kind of teeth whitening kits you can get on aliexpress um, it won't take you long to find one that's probably exactly the same um, but they've obviously made sure that they ship it in a really professional box with the brand name on because that's what's going to separate them from any old general store or any old one product store it just makes them look more professional and therefore put me, people are more likely to trust them just to show you their facebook page as well because this is what i wanted to show you this is what i would just call kind of like the best customer service possible is that again they're responding to absolutely everyone but they're responding in a really kind of casual friendly way and this is going to be one of the points that we go over in a second is that to build that relationship with your customers you need to respond to them like they're your friends and you might seem it comes across as a bit unprofessional but social media is not a professional place if you want to be professional then you go to linkedin whereas facebook is a casual place so finally a real photo great to see and they're posting like gifs or gifs whatever you want to call them and then this one here which is making people laugh like people are responding to it saying it's funny somebody's commenting about how they dribble with it in and they've posted this they're kind of almost making funny of themselves and that is just that is that's just how you build a brand it's how you build that relationship with your customer and trust me you might think that things like that people don't care about but they do not everybody is going to comment saying wow you respond to everybody's comments so that really makes you really makes me like your brand people don't say that they kind of notice it subconsciously and then that's when they go ahead and make the purchase Another thing I wanted to notice as well is that when you scroll down all the different content and it's not always from the same person either, they've got a lot of influencers on board constantly creating content for this so it looks like a fresh up and coming brand that's posting every single day, they're well established and there's no trust issues there. When somebody comes onto this Facebook page and they see this store, they see the amount of likes, they see the amount of content, they see how active they are, immediately all those trust issues are gone because they know that this brand is really active and if there's any problems at all, they're not gonna have any problems getting a hold of them. So all those two being covered then, what exactly can we learn from them? Pretty much the points we've just gone through, but I'm just gonna reiterate them quickly just in case you missed them. Number one, both of these brands then had kind of like one major product that they've built a brand around. Number two, they all have multiple influencers endorsing the product and creating fresh content so that they can post every day on social media. The more you post on social media, the more reach you're going to get and the more kind of the more hype there's going to be about you and your brand. I've noticed it on YouTube. The more I post on YouTube, the more people who watch my videos and then the more followers I get. Number three, excellent customer service. Every single one of them, uh, they respond to every single comment um, in a friendly, casual way, which is obviously a good thing. It's just good, good customer service. Number four then is shorter shipping times. It's going to be really difficult to build a brand um, on ship on the typical aliexpress shipping times which we're going to be covering in a second how you can increase them later on in the video number five they both have really professional sites and number six they've both created movements around a hashtag and just to illustrate this um, just to show you on instagram if we look for the hashtag of high smile there's 40,000 posts and if you just look at the wide range of people posting posts um, images videos with that hashtag you can see that it's their customers it's their influencers it's them themselves 
um, and that is just essentially what a good brand does it's not necessarily just building a brand but it's actually building a movement like people like to be part of a movement and like to have their say and if you can give somebody a hashtag that makes them feel part of that family um, it's just going to be gold for you if you think of Gymshark the way they took off then Gymshark isn't just a brand it's a movement and people want to represent the brand because they want to be part of a movement that's about the kind of lifestyle that they promote so all that being said then guys how do we actually replicate these brands and how do we get the kind of same kind of similar results so this is like the important information in the video um, that I want you guys to take away and change the way of thinking so I'm kind of going to go like one for one two for do and kind of address the topics in that order so number one then is choose a product you have a passion for if you don't have a passion for it you can't and you can't be proud of it and you don't truly believe it's going to make someone's life better then that will show off in the content that you create it will show off in how often you're creating the content it will show off in how you speak to your influencers how you speak to your customers so just make sure you choose a product that you really believe in number two then find micro influencers so people with under a 50k following and ask them to be ambassadors for your brand asking somebody to be an ambassador says a lot more to someone than if you just ask them to put a post out for you or to be an affiliate by saying be an ambassador and be like a face for our brand it almost like gives them power makes them feel important and therefore more likely to agree to your terms looking at the way these two brands did it um, especially high smile what they tend to do is give their influencer a free product that they can use so they get free products which is something good um, and then give them an affiliate link as well in return for creating content for you so um, you can agree those terms with your influencer. It could be every week they do a video that you can post on your Facebook page or on your Instagram page and tag them and so forth. Um, but that's basically how you go about doing it, especially if you're on a budget. If you can get somebody to be an ambassador, then your only cost is kind of like the product you have to ship to them um, and the app for creating affiliate links, which you can do through the Shopify app store. Um, and that way you're not constantly paying for marketing, if that makes sense. They just simply endorse your product and their following sees them endorsing your product and that will in turn bring traffic onto your store. Number three then, respond to every customer's comment in a friendly and relevant way. Just imagine you're talking to your friends, just talk to them casually casually um, and appropriate to the niche that you're in as well trust me it seems like a lot of work and in a way it is because you need to be checking your phone and your ads kind of like every couple of hours but it will pay dividends believe me when it comes down to advertising a new product and building a brand um, the difference between somebody buying from you and not buying from you more often than not will just come down to trust and if they see that you're commenting um, every single day responding to every single person they will have kind of like no qualms at all about being able to get hold of you if anything goes wrong so they will trust you um, and it will just convert more customers believe me if that that is a very very important thing um, and something you hear not a lot of people talk about either Number four then is find a faster supplier. So AliExpress isn't your only option. Um, there's a website called Light in the Box just to kind of illustrate this as well. Um, you can see you can find pretty similar products that you'll find on AliExpress. But if you just look at the shipping time, um, so you've got processing time of two to five business days. Um, it's usually a lot quicker than that, by the way, closer to the two, if not sometimes sooner, depending on when you place your order. Um, and then the shipping time is two to five business days to the UK. And then here's another product. Um, again, this is another big brand, which I didn't mention in the video, but this is shipping to America. Um, a lot of my viewers for this channel are UK and US. So I just want to illustrate, you can find products on this site um, and get them shipped pretty quickly, whether you're in the US or America. The next thing as well is to use fulfillment centers and bulk order. So you can find fulfillment centers. I work with one in the UK. Um, there's ones in America. There's ones pretty much all over the world where you will find a supplier where you order say 500 units, get them shipped to the fulfillment center. Every night you'll send them a CSV file, um, which will basically tell them what the orders are. So it'll be your customer's name, customer's address, and what they've bought and then they'll just pick pack and dispatch your orders for you number five then is paid themes they just look so much more professional being honest um, you can tell straight away if you think um, there's like a famous saying that your first impression when meeting someone they make up their mind about you in like the first couple of seconds it's the same when somebody comes onto your store if your store doesn't look very professional they're just going to be put off straight away so pay themes that's kind of like the biggest downfall about starting a brand is the fact that it requires a lot more money um, and a lot more time too and a lot more work so th those kind of are three main things Number six and the sixth and final thing then is create a movement around your brand 
and brand every image, every post, etc., with your hashtag that's unique to your company, and then encourage cu customers to post on Instagram with your hashtag to win free prizes. It's going to create like a whirlwind. It's going to create hype. Um, and again, the more posts, the more content you have behind your brand, the more people can see of other people using your brand, the more they're going to trust it, and in return, the more customers you're going to get. It really is just that simple. And with that being said, then guys, to kind of summarize the video, dropshipping is getting a ton more competitive. Um, a lot of the people I speak to in my DMs, they'll send me their store, and I'm more than happy to look at people's store, but kind of like probably 95 out of 100 are just really basic amateurish looking stores. And if you wanna find any kind of decent long-term success when it comes to Shopify in general, then most people probably need to up their game and take it a bit more seriously. It really just isn't that as simple as creating a really basic looking site, um, sticking some products from China on there and running um, some Facebook ads according to a strategy you've watched on YouTube. You need to take this seriously, build a proper business, um, build some hype, build a movement, and just do all the things we spoke about in this video. Anyway, with that being said, if there's any questions on this whatsoever, please do make sure you leave a comment down below. Um, if you feel like this video helped you out, then please let me know as well. Um, it's good to know that the videos I'm putting out do help you. So if you enjoyed this kind of video, please make sure you hit that like. And if you want to be entered into the raffle, then of course, please make sure you leave a comment as well. And with that being said, then let's announce the winner of the previous video. Here we are then guys on my previous video. Um, we're at 95 likes. So if you haven't liked it yet, please go and like that video. Let's try and get it to 100. Um, so anyway, I'm just going to take the URL then head over to our random comment picker get youtube comments 48 unique comments which is actually really really good for 24 hours so thank you very much for all the support um, and the winner of the previous video then is rafael rodriguez so thank you very much for your comment make sure you reach out on instagram we can get that call arranged and guys if you just want to get straight down to business and book a call right away you can do so there will be a link in the description down below so make sure you go check that one out and with that one being said then guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one